after it. And here's Kuno driving to half forward. Speaking of Jared Wade, he's straight into the scene. Takes the mark in front of Patful. Up the ground last week, 12 disposals, six inside 50s. Jared Wade last week has three goals, four for the year. We know you never can be quite sure. And that one's just slightly astray. Good run from behind provided by Walker. We know he loves that dash. More lines there though. The Blues are low weight from the side. Entrance was spectacular. Kuno got involved. Here's McLean. This might be the man who got out of the mix there. Waits down in the goal square. It's set up for him to jump up over the top. Gee, that's poor from Brisbane. And you've, you've got to say that's probably Joel Patton. It was just too late. His timing was poor. A tough miss early on. This one plum in front. And Carlton's answer is swift. And allows him to get pretty comfortably up to the wing. And then, oh, Hanley came from one side, but Jared Waite showing why he's so pivotal to Carlton's success. That's twice he's beaten two Brisbane Lion defenders. Just at the right moment, Armfield angled the kick into the pocket, and again, Patful giving a lot of liberty to Jared Waite. Stand start to the square, hoping that Robinson can fly! I thought he got under the ball a bit there, Robinson, but the arms and the hands went through against West Coast here last year. Look at Waite with the long lead. It was. And Walker oh. found him effectively. He's the most influential player on the ground at the moment, Jared Waite. Uh, he's got a new opponent, which I think might be a better matchup. Anyway, you don't mind him getting it at half back, though, Jace, do you? This is into the middle. Armfield was there for him. Eventually went shorter instead to Cruiser. Stretching out. Goes with it for the Blues. Hefty kick to the square. And great body use from Wade again. Takes the mark. And he's cutting off the lead. But he's getting outbodied and outmarked. This for his second. And Carlton lead by 26 points at the Gabba. Murphy. They got loose. They got Lucas in the square on his own at the moment. Well, they can get it in there quickly, and Wade knows that. No good of what he had. Robinson up to the 50. Wade circling. Yo, straight away gets one tackle. Buick was charging up. It was a perfect kick. He just needed to take the mark. This could be costly. Well, Gibbs has curled it back there again, and Patful found himself too far behind. Uh, and that's that's you know, not his fault there, no. though. The other side of the ground to be a loose man to bring the ball out. He's, uh, he got himself a nice little bit of angle assistance there, Jared White, and he threads it through, okay. and Carlton have responded. Side to side, and gets 15 metres away from him. It's incredible to watch the movement of Jared White. Kerno hops it up. Oh, oh, he worked no, his way to the front, what? he's got it again. Please, can we... We've been watching that for the last 30 oh. seconds, Shorey. He's been going from one point post to the other. 30 metre lateral leads. Every time Joel Patful takes his eye off him, he gets a 15 metre break. So on that occasion, that was about the fourth time he'd gone back across. He gets to the front of the pack, stretches, takes the mark before Patful can get there. Let me tell you, just when there's enough supply and there's been a bit of supply in this quarter, Patful was all right in the set. He, he cannot play in that position. I, I would go with Staker, and I've said it from the 10 minute mark of the first quarter, the matchup has not been good. Three goals, one for Jared White. And that saved him. He will let off. All clear. Need to do is get the ball the other oh, end. Oh, boy, another turnover. Out. Another calamity coming up, perhaps. Will they capitalise the Blues? McLean, wait. The instant give over the top, and it's Kane Lucas. No one can miss from there. Good job. Both sides. Yep. Carlton have activated their sub. Simon White's out. Josh Butzma is in. They can't allow this. Can't allow the overlap. Kuno, wait. Coming up at the footy. And this will be to Carlton's advantage because he can milk a bit of time here as well. No, he wants to keep it going. Ah, good. Maloney intervened. Gee, Mick Mould has to be filthy on that, boys. Another turnover here, though. Handed it back. Judd on his own footy. Had to just dish it off to Robinson. They've got numbers out wide. Mr. Michael did well. He's in his debut game. Adcock trying to take on Judd. And he might well. Oh, he's. There's the second one second you get in the umpire's It was when he uh, it was Simpson to Judd. Three handballs. Now it's four for the night so far. Kerners with the extra there. Henderson with great authority. Judd could barely have kicked it any higher to half forward. Play on! All the players have to lift at the moment. Chris Judd, he's one who can do it. In the blink of an eye, quickly up it goes. He'll go again, Judd. And he might need it. 
It has slap back by Bell. Now Judd gets motoring. One of the first times you've actually seen him in the clear, kicking the ball into the f got it out. Wait was there to pounce. Comes to Judd again. Forced to handball. Oh, oh. Feel. that was inventive. Corridor knocked away from Buick by Walker. Shoveled out from Robinson. They're moving now. Judd took it off to him. Banged it deep. And look at this. He is given all sorts of freedom, Gallant. He's lucky he had good peripheral vision, Heath Scotland. Jamison, Judd again, scooped it up on the half volley. And Armfield around the corner to Scotland, who we saw. Scotland takes the mark. The Blues, once again, on the back foot, hanging on to a 10-point lead now. Out to Judd. This is going to be his first mark of the night, Chris Judd. Has oh. not got into any space at all. 10 contested possessions. And more handballs than kicks for Chris Judd. He ran a long way. He did. I think he's changed his... So they all arrive. Oh. And Judd, he's got it. Clean with 25 disposals. He's off the ground, as we saw. Murphy with 22. Judd, oh. 22 as well. No, this man's getting involved now, Chris yeah. Judd. Three on one. It's about bring rain. There. Off the hard work. Oh, Buick. That's chopping the arms. Did his best. Judd was looking to handball initially. Decided to kick. Here's McLean. This might be the man who got out of the mix there. Waits down in the goal square. It's set up for him to jump up over the top. Gee, that's poor from Brisbane. And you've, you've got to say that's probably Joel Pat. Yeah, so, gee, you take a massive chain, uh, chance. Well, get some more thoughts on that from you, Jason, in a moment. Decision, actually. Eventually, McLean takes the mark. The forwards have held their position until now. Warnock. Comes loping out of the goal square. There he is in the middle of your frame. Cross half back, engineering another move forward for Carlton. Just controlling the footy a little bit. The it back to McLean. And conversely, the pressure isn't like that manic pressure they had in the in the second quarter. Oh, look at this. Rid of it, but the danger certainly hasn't passed. Murphy just waited and waited. Got it back to Judd. Had time to really align himself with the goals, but he doesn't. Oh, just didn't get enough on the oh. kick. It's a station from Carlton, 63 disposals to 26 for the term. I think there might be a sub about to happen shortly too for the Lions. Kick goes Final into full foot. to do is get the ball there. Oh, oh, another turnover. Turnover. Another calamity coming up perhaps. Will they capitalise the Blues? McLean, wait. The instant give over the top and it's Kane Lucas. No one can miss from there. Good job.